Hey what's up coders welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you one of the cool widgets of Flutter which is the hero widget. So here I have a sample address book page where it contains favorites and all which is a two tab uh, app and um, here it contains the list view of the contact details and here it has the silver grid with the circular avatar of the image and when I click on this image and move back you see that transition happening I'm going to show it to you again there you go so you see that transition one more time there you go so that's hero animation now first I'm going to explain you what hero uh, widget is all about and then I'm going to show you where I've implemented the hero widget here in this particular uh, flutter application so a hero widget you use hero widget when you want to connect two widgets and provide a smooth transition when you're switching from one screen to another screen so that's basically like this is one widget and when i click it should display another widget and that transition is caused by the hero widget so it could be an image, it could be an article book cover, or it could be an album book cover, or it could be a movie details book cover. So all you have to do is, the implementation part is very simple. All you have to do is place the container inside a hero widget. That's it. And the rest is all done by the hero widget. And give a tag. So I'm just going to show you how this looks um, in the code. And I'm not going to cover all these details because I've already covered this code in my previous video where this is like the circular avatar and this is a list view which I've already done. And if I click on this, the detail page is also covered in my um, other videos. So I'm not going to go detail into it. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you where I've placed the uh, hero widget and um, how I've named the tags. So moving on to the code. Well, this is my main.dat file. So I have used another widget. So it goes to the home.dat. And inside this, this particular um, circle avatar is where my hero widget is. So here the function is. So I have placed the entire container, that is the container which has both the image and the name is placed under hero widget. So you could see this entire container is placed under hero widget. Another mandatory factor is the tag. The tag has to be a unique identifier and the same identifier has to be mentioned when you click on this profile and when it navigates to another screen, the same tag has to be mentioned. Since I'm using these profiles and they have their unique names, I've tagged the tag name as the contact name itself. So my entire container, which is a silver grid, this entire container is tagged under hero. So that's it. Now moving on to the detail page. Wherever, whenever I click on the image, I get the detail page. Now I want only this one to be the other widget which needs to be kind of an animated effect. I'm placing this entire container, not these sections, but only this one inside the hero widget. So using the same tag name. So if you come to my contact details dot dot, I have the hero widget here. And inside that I have used the same contact dot contact name. And inside that I have my container and this container is this one which is the same contact image with a width of the media screen so that it picks up the entire screen width and the height I have reduced it to the half of the screen so all you have to do is you're connecting these two pages using hero widget and the tags and just placing the container so this is, is all about hero widgets so i'll show the demo of the hero widget again so i have this uh, favorite section so when i click on it you can see it's getting expanded 
and then when I do that, it's, you can see the transition happening. So similar way, I've given the hero widget even for the list view. Say for example, when I click on Kathy Davis picture, you can see this tile getting expanded and then you can see it's shrinking back. I'll show it to you one again. You can see that the tile is scrolling down. So, so this is how you implement widget. There is nothing to explain more about the widget. It's just that you should know how to use and when to use it. And But the implementation is very simple. All you need is just one single tag and the tag factor in it. And you're good to go for a hero widget. So hope you like my video. If you do, please give it a like and subscribe. And if you find it informative, please do share it. Thank you.